Hey guys, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com again and uh, here with uh, Jordan Thompson from Citywide Mortgages. Uh, JordanThompson.ca is where you can find her. More contact information below. Um, today I'm just going to do part two of the Realtor slash Mortgage uh, Mortgage Brokers Top 10 Pet Peeves. Last time we did part one. Uh, today we'll do part two. So number top five, five, four, three, two, one. So number five, um, number five on the list is people uh, who choose part-time realtors and mortgage brokers. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a pet peeve. You know, I wouldn't trust a doctor who was a part-time doctor and also, you know, a, a part-time lawyer and part-time accountant and has all these other uh, businesses. Um, do you find a lot of that, Jordan, in mortgage brokering? There's a lot of part-time mortgage brokers? Well, there are definitely some mortgage brokers okay. who do have uh, other interests. But yeah. Um, as is any kind of self-employed mm -hmm. person, the more you put into it, you know, the more you get back. Yeah. Because the mortgage industry is so, it evolves so quickly and there's such a, a huge learning curve. Yeah. You really need to put the time into it. It's not something that you can... I'm say I, I can do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. If you need, you know, subjects removed on your house on a, you know, a Tuesday, I need to be working on a Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, and quite frankly, you know, lenders don't work around your schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Clients yeah. don't work around like my schedule. I have to be available around their schedule. So yeah. you definitely need to put in full time hours. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah so like. That's, that's number five. I just found that like there are some part-time realtors and part-time mm -hmm. mortgage brokers that are really good, but um, majority that I've seen, I haven't actually seen any, uh, you know, like the majority that I've seen, you know, don't really do a good job. Um, so that's just my personal opinion and what I've yeah. seen in the industry. So uh, number four, number four on the pet peeve list, uh, realtors who sell themselves by doing kickbacks. Uh, I know mortgage brokers try to buy down people's rates and maybe you can share a little bit about mortgage brokers trying to buy down people's rates and... Yeah, sure Gary, so th that's a good point. Um, whereas realtors will give kickbacks, yeah. what a mortgage broker will do is buy down the rate to secure the client's business uh, but we don't ever give money okay. to our clients. Yeah. What, except the unethical ones, right? Except the unethical <laughs> ones, which will, who will take money from a client prior to a mortgage yeah. funding. Yeah. But that is highly illegal, um, and so you will get caught uh, yeah. doing that. But yeah. we do not give our clients money yeah. because we just don't. <laughs> like in, in, yeah. <laughs> but you know, yeah. you were saying selling themselves short. Yeah. Me buying down a, a, a rate for a client really does, you know, it sells my expertise exactly. and time and professionalism. It sells all of that short. Yes, um, I agree. I agree. I work very hard, very diligently, very professionally yeah. for each and every one of my clients. Yeah. And you know, as such, I deserve to be paid you know, by the lender yeah. for doing so. I agree. Like professionals these days, they, they should charge what they deserve. I mean, they put their uh, time and effort in schooling and training, and um, I, 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 it doesn't make sense to me. Like, let's say a doctor who goes through like 10 years of schooling and starts charging $10 an hour. It would make the public suspect of whether this doctor is really as good as they you know make out to be right so it's it's the same and then like realtors a lot of them i know there's discount brokerages and full service brokerages but a lot of uh, realtors are just trying to um, advertise themselves as the cheapest realtor as the cheapest oh we'll we'll give you the lowest rate or lowest price and and um like what happens usually is price wars Price wars is where, oh, you'll do it for $500, I'll do it for $400, I'll do it for $300, I'll do it later. And then at the end of the day, it's like lawyers who originally charged $300 end up charging 20 bucks an hour. And then it's like, it just ruins their reputation, ruins, it makes, it cheapens their, their, uh, their, professional, uh, their, their professional status. So like realtors who, who sell themselves by doing kickbacks, you're just making other realtors like, kind of lowering our uh, expertise, right? 
it does definitely yeah. undermine the industry. That's somewhat. right. That's right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how I feel. Um, number three. Did you have fun? Number three on our pet peeve list: realtors who are re realtors slash mortgage brokers who are rude and unprofessional. Um, I've met like a ton in, in our industry. Um, you know, a lot of them like act all professional in front of my clients, and then when they're talking to me, they're like, you know, saying all this junk and all that stuff, and it's like. Okay, but I, but you know, being professionals, we can't badmouth other realtors, specific realtors, so we can't say that to our clients. We just say, oh, you know, they're being difficult or something like that, right? Have you met a lot of those in? Well, I think I don't. We all hate rude people. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I. Where I've seen it, and what kind of you know bugs me yeah. is when. A client will call a broker or, or a potential client yeah. and the broker appears to not have any time for them yeah. and just, you know, says, oh, well, you know, that, that's not good. I, I, you know, whatever, call yeah, somebody yeah, else. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think that's a great way to be professional oh, definitely as, not. as, as no. well. Um, and yeah, you can't, you know, bad, bad mouth your, your own industry, yeah. but yeah. I just think rude people. And, that that you know. just doesn't work in any industry. Um, so that's that's a really common one. I actually, I, I have met some. Oh, yeah. Those. You're right. My pet peeve is rude. Yeah. Realtors yeah, at yeah. open houses. Yeah. I know. I'm. You know. And I always. Uh, I can't go in there and, and pose as a, as a as a possible buyer. Yeah. I must say I'm a mortgage broker. Yeah. Um, but I've definitely run into a few kind of just you know. Hmm, well, I don't have time for you. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, I don't like that. Yeah. And I never do that to my own clients because I actually do care about you. I'm, it's a lot of money you're dealing with, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I've got to know you and care about for you. For sure, for sure. I think in yeah. real estate and mortgage uh, yeah. brokering, it's all about your reputation, right? If you develop a reputation that's rude and unprofessional, it's, it's just... And when I mean unprofessional, it's just like breaking board rules, uh, doing the shady stuff. You know, that's just not cool, right? Okay, number one. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, number two on the pet peeve list, realtors are uh, people who choose realtors or mortgage brokers just because they appear to be the top realtor slash mortgage broker. Um, so my comment on that is like, there's a lot of ways to uh, be a successful realtor without doing it properly. There's a lot of shady ways to do it. You know, there's a lot of ways to you know, overprice your listings and get as many as possible, get your name out there as as fast as possible and then make it seem like you're you're a big shot you know and you can mislead a lot of uh clients that way but you know it, it's it's and then like a lot of public think oh that that so-and-so must be great because they're everywhere um maybe but maybe not so like have you ever seen that in the mortgage industry uh well i have seen where brokers are doing uh, a lot of volume uh, but they're also some of the ones that are buying down the rate. Yeah. Um, so on the outside, it appears they're doing a lot of business. Yeah. And sure they are, but they're they're not getting compensated in any way. Yeah. Um, but I think I think overall, you know, you see big brokerages, yes. but not so much individual brokers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's more you know the brokerage. Mm -hmm. Like in my case, Dominion Lending Center. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Like in, so like in in real estate and mortgage brokering, just because they're a top realtor, top mortgage broker, uh, it's best to do your due diligence, interview Absolutely. them, talk to them. Um, just because they have like, oh, I did like three hundred deals last year, or, or whatever. a lot of signs. Yeah. See, so you, you always see the signs, yeah. and you assume, you know, you know that it, it's not necessarily the guy who, the guy or girl who has the most signs out there is, yeah. the, is the best person yeah. for you, right? That's right. So <laughs> it's, it's a bit misleading, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, okay. So number one on our top ten pet peeves for realtors and mortgage brokers are lazy or untrained professionals. So in this respect, uh, there, like what I've noticed in uh, real estate is once you finish your real estate trading licenses, uh, licensing, there's a lot of training that you still need to do. You just kind of stepped in the door and now you have to go through the hands-on training. And a lot of um, realtors choose brokerages that don't focus on training. Um, because they get paid more, the commission split is better, or something like that. And it doesn't really, I don't really understand that. 
and then, but it doesn't really, they, they might think it works for them in the beginning, but later on, when, uh, you know, people complain that they're not trained or they don't know a lot of things, you know, I, I understand it's not their fault, because it's just because they're not trained. Their brokers didn't train them properly, and they, you know, they they just weren't trained. So, um, like, I always tell people who want to be a realtor, uh, go with a uh, brokerage that focuses on training. Um, and then there's just people who are trained but just are lazy, or they're lazy to get trained. So, like, maybe you can speak about that in the mortgage brokering side. Lazy. Lazy yeah. or people yeah, who are okay. untrained. Um, well, I think that they're all trained, but I love what you mentioned about keeping up with the training. Yes. Um, and that absolutely, you know, go with a, a broker or whatever um, who continually does train, yes. uh, you know, their, their brokers or mm -hmm, realtors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you're going to go with a lazy broker, what's going to happen is that uh, they may not negotiate. Uh, with the lender to your best uh, on your on your best yes uh, yes your best interest your and, best interest yeah. because it's easier not to exactly um, uh, you know or really investigating what might be the best mortgage product there are yes. so many out there oh, yeah. and it's easy for me to just say oh okay Gary just, just pick this one <laughs> under, exactly <laughs> and then not actually educating the client yeah. Yeah. as to why because then that's a disservice to the client exactly. at the end of the day as exactly. well um, and I think that the training so actually understanding yeah. the financial aspect of it and then being, you know, gung ho in advising yeah. your clientele, my clientele as well. Um, I think they kind of go hand in hand. But yeah, I mean, again, nobody likes lazy or rude people. Yeah, you just got to be <laughs> proactive as a real estate yeah, broker, true. as a mortgage broker. Like there, is, there's an easy way of doing it, and then there's a hard way. But yeah. you know, no pain, no gain. So we gotta, you know, put in the work, get get updated, and get educated. There's a lot of information out there. So real star, realtors and mortgage brokers just just they just need to be a little bit hard working and and get that information yeah. so uh, you know that's it for today's video once again I'm really proud to uh, you know be partnered with uh, Jordan Thomas she's one of my uh, recommended mortgage bro brokers Thompson Thompson sorry <laughs> and then uh, you can find her on jordanthompson.ca she's from citywide mortgages uh, scary one from Gary one realty Jordan Thompson from citywide mortgages um, Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe below, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Bye.